the ultimate form of the ultimate hungry killing machine. The Savage Devil Joe, mighty beyond comprehension and utterly fabulous. And now, he's leaking! <laughs> Hello, my probably very excited fellow hunters, because we have had three, well, screenshots appear as if by magic to give us insight into the world of Icebawn and the creatures within. So, without further ado, let's have a little bit of fun and some leaky speculation. Starting with Velkana's armor skills and luck. They're gonna give you chills. We have ourselves Frostcraft. Well, we have Critical Element 2, but that's nothing, well, too crazy. We've obviously had that for a long, long time, but Frostcraft is fascinating. An aura of frost builds when your weapon is sheathed, raising attack. Wings with each melee hit are shot fired, so presumably you get this awesome frosty icy effect and slowly rise and encase your weapon, and then once you unleash it, it's just... <laughs> And that is absolutely badass, rewarding a little bit of patience, a little bit of waiting to attack, depends how quickly it builds, because this already very much points towards Longsword, because you have to sheath all the time just to operate the weapon, so that might give you a very nice little consistent bump that you don't even really have to think about it. We'll have to see what the numbers end up being, but if there is Frostcraft, is there going to be Firecraft, Thundercraft? This is an Elder Dragon set with two abilities, which we've not seen on the other base Elder Dragons, so in G-Rank is their Master Rank gear going to now have two abilities? That's exciting to look forward to by itself! So all in all, a fascinatingly fun looking skill, and I'm gonna have a lot of joy playing around with it and just theory crafting it to the... So, let's get to the meat of why we're here though, let's get to the juice, because we have two screenshots of the assignment board. One of them not as exciting as the other. This one here. Baptism by Ice, Banbaro Blockade, ready to strike, no time for naps, play both ends, Blizzard Blitz, the Scorching Blade, and the ever-present shadow. Well, these ones aren't really too much to kind of go ooh on, because they are self-explanatory. In order again, Beatodus, Banbaro, then we have Viper, Toby Kadechi, Nightshade Palumu, Coral Pookie Pookie, a bit of Baryoth, then a bit of Glavinus, and finally Nagakuga. So that all works out, but it's nice to see them there. Okay. But the other one then, the other one, oh, the other one. <laughs> this is the Elder Dragon rank of hunts. And this is much more exciting. So, we have Lightning Crashes, Wings of the Wind, Mark of the Sun, Clashing Swords Upon the Rhyme, Here Comes the Deathmaker, Memories of a Sea God. <laughs> we'll get to that. And Seething with Anger. Now, all but two of these, again, very self-explanatory. From top to bottom, Kirin, Kushala, Teostra, Valkana, and then Valhazak. But the last two, Memories of a Sea God... I know, it's not gonna be, but can you imagine Cadeus? Hello! Out of nowhere, underwater combat, and we've got the whale! That's the only monster that fits the description of a sea god. It's the only one, well, painted as such law-wise. So this has got to be a new monster. It really has to be. Because how many water-based Elder Dragons can you name off the top of your head? Because I'll tell you, there's not a lot of the bastards. Which means we are in for a delectable treat of a Elder Dragon water creature. That is 
fabulous because it's something that surprisingly is very ill represented. There's very few Elder Dragons uh, that use water in any capacity. And Matsu has the beams, obviously Kadeus is underwater, but then already that's all of them, essentially, if you're not going to make any real stretches to, like, Elatrion's ice being frozen water. <laughs> so, oh, there's no real indication what it could be except for two possible theories. And number one, it is the Everworm, whatever that is, whatever Velcana is keeping frozen, the mystery, watery, endgame, what is going on. But the thing is, endgame bosses are always a tier above the base elders. They will be six star. So it's not going to be the Everworm, no way. So, perhaps when we saw the Longsword weapon tree for Master Rank get a little bit of a look, there was a very interesting mystery branch of the Zora tree that ended in a water series of weapons. So what if this is something to do with Zora? Maybe a Zora subspecies? Now, it's not got the siege symbol. It is a normal Elder Dragon hunt symbol. So, perhaps nothing of that scale, but maybe indeed it is a subspecies of watery nature of one of the existing elders. But then again, are any of the existing elders built to take on a watery theme, especially coming off the Zora branch? Why the Zora branch? Now, it might not be right to connect those two things, but the mystery certainly deepens. The base facts of the matter here for you to take on and discuss in the comments are, it is... Surely, Sea God, it's got to be water-based, and two, it is an Elder Dragon, so, yeah, go nuts. Then, of course, seething with anger. This is an Elder Dragon class quest, but it is a normal hunt, meaning you can capture, meaning it's not a Elder Dragon, which means it's going to be something of variant level power to hang with those guys, and seething with anger? Come on, there is only one thing that can fit that description, and it is Savage Devil Joe. There's just no doubt in my mind, it is Savage Devil Joe. Nothing else even comes to mind. Maybe if we didn't already know about Ebony Odogaron, you could say maybe he's getting a variant that's very angry. Yeah, kinda, maybe. But now that we know he's not, now that we know that variants are a big focus, we know we already have Joe making savages such a piece of cake, he's not that changed but he is awesome and he is by far and away elder dragon level one of the few non elders that just categorically are so yeah to me this just has to be savage devil joe it makes too much complete and perfect sense i might be biased here let me know what you guys think but certainly i could not not speculate on all of this loveliness so, my name has been Josh. Like you enjoyed this, subscribe for more. I will see you soon. A oh, good boy. Rage gaming with the video float. But that's all that's really relevant at the mo. But I'm still gonna leave this up so you patrons know that I love you even though the outro's no longer that kind of relevant. But the new one's being worked on and it's gonna be a truly badass song. And don't worry, I won't be doing any rapping on it. I'm gonna go now, uh, this was shit.